hello guys i think i have found the ultimate solution for ea and tc if you guys have tried bunch of techniques getting past the last screen what i was wishing was that the, whenever i launch any ea games it would stuck in the splash screen and then i will get the message regarding the ea and cheat or restart the pc or something like that on top of that uh, splash screen so if you have already tried number of techniques but still didn't work then this should help so what you have to do is the biggest culprit was this windows security so what you have to do is go over here in windows security go inside virus threat and protection so under here down here you'll see ransomware protection and click on manage ransomware protection and in your case this control folder access uh, it might be off in your case if it's on that's okay if it's off then you have to turn it on and after this what you have to do is click on allow and app through control folder access after clicking here uh, what you can do is what you have to do is add an allowed app so what you have to do here is just like this as you can see i have added in the ea anti cheat and then ea anti cheat uh, service installer and then the game this is the dot exe file which is which we generally use to uh, start the game so what i have do, done is i have added this bunch of dot uh, exe file here and you can also do the same based on your games but uh, what the main thing is you have to don't forget to add this to anti cheat and what generally anti cheat you can find this anti cheat on your c drive if you go inside the c drive and then program files it should give here like a ea and inside here you can see the ea anti cheat just add these two exe and then just uh to be safe also add your uh game as well game exe as well just in that in my case i have add this and then i have also add battlefield exe the bfp.exe file if in your case if you are playing fifa and fifa is not running then what you have to do is just the same way just give to that game particular directory and then add that exe file also do not forget to add this particular exe service game service and then game cheat installer anti cheat installer and after this you should be good to go if it help you guys don't forget forget to subscribe and please share this video if it help you I have seen a lot of posts regarding this in the EA community and nobody have found this solution. So if it helps you guys, please make sure to like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.